Uh, we're now doing another worked example. Again, if you want to try it yourself, do so by pausing the video and create your own uh, example. Um, I'm going to give this a name. So I'm going to save this and call this uh, weather. If. Um, and it's basically all about using the if command again, again with strings. So, first thing it says, get a type of weather using the keyboard. And it'll be either raining, sunny or frosty. So people have to type in either one of those three words. So I use the print command to let them know what to do. Um, what's the weather like? Raining, sunny, or frosty only. And again, I have to grab this value, so I call it S weather. Good enough name. And I have to get the input from the keyboard. Don't have to bother with any kind of formalization or change it to integers or things like that. It's just a string of text. And um, what I want to do though is I'll make it a lower, so all the type in becomes lowercase automatically. That makes it easy with the if command. Then do the first if command, if the weather is equal to, and the first word was raining, colon, that starts off the if command. Print, and it says here, tell me to take an umbrella, take an umbrella. So that's the first if command done. Uh, I'm going to just grab the code and paste it in for the next one and change raining to frosty. So if it's frosty, I've said to your take a scarf and gloves. And then the next one, paste that in as well. That was all about the the sun, sunny. Let's say take some sunglasses. I've noticed they've done a slightly different order there, so what I can do here quickly, if you want to be very specific, order does help in coding, put them like that there instead. Now I don't know if this works yet, I'll take a lot of stuff and put check in there. So I'll put the word sun, it should crash it out, there you go, nothing happens really. There's no way to mess is stopping it. Uh, I can type in sunny now, S N Y. Ah, error here, sunny not defined. Let's see what I've done wrong here. Um... Not too sure. Let's run that again and watch what I'm doing this time. Sunny. All right. I'm, I'm about to just wait. I typed in too fast, I think. Then I had to wait till the program started. <laughs> um, take some sunglasses. Run it again. Uh, we had Frosty in. Frosty. There you go. Scarf and gloves. And the other one was raining. And that works as well, take an umbrella. And let's prove it by mixing the, the cases up and down. Rain ing. There you go. Because lowercase is the whole thing. So that's again keyboard input, making it all lowercase. And quite straightforward code to be honest. But more importantly, using decisions. And based on either one of these decisions, uh, different lines of code are executed. And of course the indentations there, I've said before in videos, because it requires indentation.